So these are these impulse from the video. They are printed in stainless steel. I got them from Sculptel and they feel really strong, which was the point. I mean, it's not gonna be more efficient because the geometry is the same as my plastic ones. I used, I used these before. This is just two blade, but I, I am using one blade impellers because I am getting the highest efficiency numbers with them. I am gonna show you more, more of that in a future video. And um, um, I decided to try stainless steel because I want them to be more durable, but uh, unfortunately uh, this hole for the shaft, it came out too small, so I had to drill it out and uh, uh, that's uh, through the hole of center on the first impeller and uh, of course the uh, now it cannot be balanced anymore, but uh, I will try to change the design and order them again and we will see if we can get rid of these vibrations. Of course uh, the vibration can be the main problem on such a design because uh, the CG is not in the center if I don't use these holes for the counterbalance. And uh, another problem is that the thrust coming from the impeller is asymmetrical. It pushes only on this side and not on this side. So uh, I'm compensating for that by putting these impellers like this so that the thrust from the second impeller is on the opposite side than the first impeller. And I will have to test it if it works. So far there is uh, still some vibration, which you might have seen in the video uh, before. So we will see, yeah. And uh, by the way, I am also testing um, this great uh, laser cut in stainless steel. The point is to uh, get more durability and also uh, it is then possible to make the grade uh, less disrupt the flow so it could be more efficient but uh, so far the manufacturing was was unsuccessful because it is quite bent yeah so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one